Yes, he does the cooking. Yes, he does the cleaning. Look at my hair right now. This is unacceptable. If you shave, this is getting so personal. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Here is the Aerie sweatshirt. How big that speck. That's a spider. Oh my god. I got on the phone with my tax guy. But of course, since there's a sale, we have to do a giveaway. Good morning, everybody. Guys, it is the morning. I've been feeling a little bit blah lately, a little bit squishy around the middle. There's so many dishes to do in the sink. I have let those go for a couple days. And so I thought this morning that we would just get ourselves back on track a little bit, make ourselves just some like yogurt fruit, get ready, wash the hair, just like, Snap up it's time to get myself back on track get myself together So if you're new make sure to subscribe I usually have a way cooler better intro and more things to say than this But let's just let's get into it. I'm out of bed pre 10 like I woke up like lower nines today And we just like hopped up and ready to go Jack is cleaning it is Sunday by the way happy Sunday It is our cleaning day and so there's clean to do laundry all of that fun stuff before my body really knows what's up I am pumping it with water before it knows it hasn't had coffee yet or food we're gonna do a couple mini workouts like some ab ones maybe some leg ones just feeling like i'm getting something moving so let's go before my body knows what's up let's just do it i can feel my body you're cold against the concrete but i can't seem to get enough my mind is fixed on what it wants i just let you beat me look at me deceiving let you get the best of me in bed with my worst enemy this is a no pro I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Guys, I just got done working out for 25 minutes and I forgot to start my Apple Watch. I'm so mad when this happens. It's like it doesn't count for anything anymore. I'm gonna like put my Apple Watch on like an outdoor walk for like hours because 25 minutes to 30 minutes of what I just did should be very close to closing that ring actually. No AM would be. For me. So I'm gonna turn it on a walk while I do some dishes up in here. I feel good though. I feel good. Your innocence, acting like you're into me. I know this is hopeless, moving in slow motion, trying to control my thoughts, but I can't stop our body talk. This is a no go, I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. This is a no go, I just can't take cold. This is a danger zone, back up and get me home. So I don't look 100% right now, but I look a little better than I did when I greeted you this morning. Hi! The kitchen sink is clear, as you guys have seen. The coffee is now brewing. Jack is having himself a pumpkin spice bagel. Guys, Jack dusted, he vacuumed. There's still like, obviously like things like a little crazy right now. Oh my gosh, he vacuumed the couch and put it all back together. Whenever like I talk about you cleaning, all I have is that TikTok song in the back of my head. That's like, yes, he does the cooking. Yes, he does the cleaning. I do do that. I know, you do both of them. What? Yes, I would love a bite of pumpkin spice. Mmm. Right. I'm gonna have myself some yogurt. Lately, Jack and I have been on Oikos Triple Zero. Jack is on that basically because it has zero sugar. Is that right? Like absolutely zero? No. 
I don't know, but it's like pretty good. Then I saw this on another YouTuber's channel, The Too Good, because it only has two grams of sugar. And I think this has 13 grams of protein in it. So it's a really great option for yogurt. Definitely more on the pricey side, but it's definitely worth it as far as health goes. So the only thing about this is because it has two grams of sugar, what Jack was saying is they probably like substitute it with the naturally occurring sugar, right? Like uh, stevia or something like that. And the stevia like almost leaves like a little artificially taste in your mouth almost like it's a weird sweet. it's a weird sweet yeah it's good but it's just like a little strange so we're gonna cook ourselves up like literally cook we're gonna cook some yogurt that sounds disgusting actually miss Allie can I have some space to do yogurt prep I just don't want miss Allie hairs all up in my yogurt you know I feel like that's a reasonable request My granola is better than your granola. It's true, friends. My granola is better than his. He has like the, what do you have, baby? Kind, it's like kind peanut butter granola or something. This stuff I picked up at the store the other day and it is so good. It's only six grams of sugar, which is pretty good. Single digits, Jack said for granola is like what we would want to stay in. And like, oh my God, mm, delicious. I went to tag them on Instagram the other day because I like posted this granola on my story. And um, when I went to tag them, I realized that Elizabeth is like, an entrepreneur, social media, fitness, health type of person. Look at my hair right now, this is unacceptable. But there we have it, folks. We've got the two good yogurt with raspberries and then purely Elizabeth maple granola on top. If I'm not mistaken, I just heard the coffee is ready. So let's just, oh God, that was much heavier. Imagine if the coffee pot like shattered when I just did that, that would be so unfortunate. Oh my God, I hear Jack's scary show in the background and I'm not looking forward to going in and like eating my breakfast there. The first sip of coffee at 11 a.m. in the morning right now. Pretty decent, it's very strong this morning. I think I accidentally put too much coffee in. Well, not a bad problem to have. Jack in there is watching his show called Evil. Like the show is called Evil and it is Literally my worst nightmare. It is all paranormal demon, like portal, like, oh my God, it's so awful. Like literally this is what happened last night. Jack decided to say like really scary things while we were going to bed last night. And he was like, don't worry, our protectors are here. And he was referring to the cats and he was like, they'll protect us from the others. And of course I'm just like freaking out. And then all of a sudden, not even kidding. This is like our bedroom window and, it, and our bedroom window has like shades down. The shades were down and literally I start like going over to my side of the bed, which is like over here. and the shades went like like moved a little bit and I literally did one of these bolted away I was so scared these shows are no joke they freak me out so bad so I think I'm just gonna eat my yogurt out here and have some peace have some quiet just like get my mind in the right mood and then let's just take care of this let's just we got to take care of it all right friends time to shower i'm thinking we might do a grocery haul today because it is sunday i go grocery shopping nearly every single sunday but also we have some friends in town and they're at the portland head lighthouse over in cape elizabeth and they were going to text us when they were done they're kind of like hiking and we were going to go to like a local brewery or something they haven't been to portland in like a few years or so so we thought we'd show them our favorite brewery or something like that so the plans are up in the air but either way regardless we are going to have to get ready for it so let's get ready and here we are wow that took like two seconds i'm like magic or something i feel so much better i have washed my hair i shaved my legs not that it matters you can't see anything you know even if you're not gonna wear like shorts or like clothes that show off your hairy legs if you shave this is getting so personal if you shave it just feels good it just feels better you feel more put together and then the answer to the question if i've been wearing this the last few days like non-stop is absolutely yes do you guys ever like get an article of clothing that you're really excited about and then you wear it like non-stop for like a week to two weeks straight and then like you wash it just so you can continue wearing it and then it just kind of goes in your closet and it's not that you don't wear it a lot it just like goes into the regular cycle of clothes but, yeah i'm really excited still about this pullover i love it it's perfect and it's actually really chilly outside it's like 50s which doesn't sound super chilly it's gonna get a lot chillier but this is the perfect pullover i have my white fluff one in the car which is one step up for warmth like it really locks in the warmth I get very sweaty if it's not 40 degrees outside in that other one so we have that just in case but I've been showing you guys random products lately that I haven't talked about on the vlog what oh Jack's definitely clothed in that nice buns oh <laughs> 
This is a Christian channel. <laughs> if this was a Christian channel, I'd be in a lot of trouble. But another product that I use on the absolute regular and I wanted to show you guys just in case you guys have a problem of like shampoo or product buildup throughout the week is, baby, don't turn around. I'm just gonna point it towards my face. It's this shampoo right here, it's the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. What I love about that shampoo is no, it doesn't give you amazing hair the day of. What it does is strip out any residue that any other hair products that you use throughout the week or just regular shampoo build up. I know that I have very fine hair. If I do not use that shampoo once a week, you only use it once a week. And it doesn't have this fragrance, it doesn't have anything, it's nothing special, but I find that if I don't use that throughout the week, my hair is just super heavy and just way down and doesn't go to its like fine hair that I usually have so hey, I what can you turn the camera away yeah it's turned Okay, like big foot over here. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you guys have a shampoo that you absolutely love And then you get two weeks into it And then it doesn't really like do what it's supposed to do like whether it's volumize or anti frizz or whatever I find that stripping out all of the shampoo and the gunk and the stuff that's weighing it down in order to go into your new week With like some clean hair works really well. I highly recommend I'll leave it in the description below if I can find it I don't know if I can find that shampoo online, but if I can I will anyway Jack and I are actually ready because he has some batteries like very specific batteries that he needs to go pick up at the stores I know very very exciting day in the dingle shaper household. It feels very very productive We use Sundays as you guys know as a day to prepare ourselves and set ourselves up for the greatest success possible throughout the week So we have cleaned the apartment for the most part. We have done the dishes Jack was cleaning his bike before I got back on here We've gotten ready and now we're gonna go out and get a couple of things such as these like they're like the circle batteries, but very specific. Baby, what are the batteries used for? What do you need them for? They're called speed and cadence sensors. It basically tracks how many revolutions per minute watt, estimated watts I'm putting out on my bike. Oh, on your bike. You can get an idea of how fast or whatever you're going? Exactly. Got you. So he's getting it for his speed and cadence sensor on his bike. But then also we thought while we were out at the shop, I think we're going to go to Walmart or Home Goods. Not Home Goods. I wish we were going to Home Goods. I think we're going to go to Walmart or like Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. And while we're out, the friends that are in town that I mentioned before, they're coming in from Connecticut. We went to see them earlier this month because of Bill Burr. We were seeing our favorite comedian. Bill Burr is so freaking funny. He's very offensive. If you are not into that, do not watch him. Do not listen to him. But we freaking love him. He is awesome. But we went to see him live with these friends and they live in the Connecticut area. And in the Connecticut area, you still can't find Clorox wipes. We were in the car going to the show with them and they were like, yeah, we can't still can't find Clorox wipes. I remember I was like, we have, we, I, I found Clorox wipes. I have no shortage of Clorox wipes. In Maine, we are doing really well with the non-shortage of a lot of different things. So I thought that while we were out, we could get them like a big pack of like Clorox wipes while they're in Maine. So we can send them back with the Clorox wipes and they'll be all set. We're gonna get those things. And then I also am going to make a list of groceries. If they're not ready to meet up by the time we're like getting the batteries and the Clorox wipe, we can just like go and do our weekly grocery shop and I can do a little haul for you guys. That's the stitch. Let's find ourselves to Walmart, Home Depot, or Lowe's, wherever we're going for those things. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. and I thought we would do a weekly grocery haul and then after Jack really wants me to help him clean his bike so we are gonna do that but in order to do that because we're kind of on a time crunch ew you nasty um, I'm gonna show you guys what we got Jack's gonna put it away we're gonna clean his bike and then our friends actually texted us and we're gonna meet them for four o'clock it's currently 
still don't know how to read this analog clock. It's currently 3.23, so I think we can get it all done. Let's let's go for it. In no particular order, here's what we got for groceries for the week. Got habanero salsa, two cans of northern beans, big can of red raspberry preserves. This bag is full of chicken. We have a big chicken package down here and a small chicken package down here. Broccoli, blueberries, onion, bananas, little avocados, sweet potatoes, ooh, I matched the sweet potatoes. Chicken broth, baked beans, onion powder and garlic powder, butter, green chilies, coffee, cauliflower rice, corn, black bean burgers, cheddar jack shredded cheese, peanut butter clusters granola, corn muffins, boom chicka pop, Dave killer bread, eggies, hot links, beef jerky, salami, yogurt, cream cheese, half and half, and almond milk. And we of course stopped at Dunkin' on the way back. I'm trying to cut back on the Charlies. You guys have followed in the last week or so, you know the skin has been through it and I am sure the amount of sugar that I have been consuming in Charlies is not working. Also that sound is Jack. Jack is cleaning his bike right now. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Is it getting all the dirt? Yeah, holy crap. Look at this contraption. He's running his chain is? through right now. It smells, I just don't breathe in the fumes. Wow, is that all dirty water? That is dirt and debris coming off my drive chain. Wow, look at you, baby. Can you see a difference in the chain? Yeah, do you see how silver it was? It was black before. Oh, I wish I got a shot. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Nice, darling. But yeah, Jack just got black coffee and I got an iced coffee with almond milk and one sugar. I need some sugar in my coffee, you know? Baby, do you feel like you're like working on your car? I just feel like I'm taking care of my thing, you know? That's cool, Bubba. Yeah, you know when you like, you just really care about something? Yeah. And like, yeah, I just feel like it, we're... I'm taking good care of it. Guys, yesterday, Jack and I went to the outlets. I feel like I've been at Freeport for like a past couple of vlogs, so I didn't show you guys. We ended up getting him a bunch of bike cleaning stuff that he's been needing. So that thing you saw that runs the chain through, we got him. We got that. What's the blue can up there, baby? The blue can is degreaser. Degreaser, and then we also got a lubricant for for the chain, so the you chain. apply lubricant to the chain mm -hmm. because you have metal touching metal. Mm. He got that, and then I'm going to share my list. As you guys know, I love lists a lot. I did end up making a list for the fall clothing items that I have on my wish list, and one of them was a big comfy sweatshirt. I've got this pullover, obviously, that you guys have seen me wear for like ages, but I wanted just a big comfy sweatshirt, whether it was like a crew neck, and it just went over my butt for like leggings and stuff. Just a nice sweatshirt material versus like an outer layer, if that makes sense. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. It was from Airy. Shocking. Here is the Airy sweatshirt that I got. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's got this slit here and I think that actually cuts really flattering like. So I really like that. I was actually gonna look for like a crew neck that just like falls really low and I think like Urban Outfitters has a couple that I've had my eye on. You guys have seen this one. It's like the thanks a bunch and it's got little flowers on it. It was something like that. But when we were at the outlets to get Jack's bike cleaning supplies at the L.L. Bean bike and ski shop, I was like, now that I have my fall list, let me go into Aerie and see if there's like a chunky sweatshirt or a chunky sweater or something like that. And this was perfect. This will be on their website, so I will leave it linked down below if you want to match. They've got a bunch of different colors. Obviously, I had to go for the muted pink color. It was kind of perfect, but I think they have like green and blue and like camo is in now. They've got like a camo print and I can't get behind camo. I've never really enjoyed wearing camo. I literally don't think I've ever owned anything camo, so it's not for me, but I love the muted fall looking colors. And with that, my friends, we are off to see our friends. I'm probably not going to vlog, so I'm gonna leave the camera here, and if I vlog any, it'll be on my phone, but if not, make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I like post all the boomerangs and like what we're doing on the hourly basis. So I will see you guys after or maybe at the place. I'm not really sure, okay, bye. Guys, look what Jack just saved this house from. Where is he? Oh. oh my goodness. Do you guys see how big that speck? That's a spider. Oh my god. There he is. 
That's a really large spider. It's not like really large, but like he's he's hefty mama. He was on the ceiling and I literally was going to just like leave oh, him be. Him oh my god, I was just gonna let him be. And I kinda we like left the kitchen and I was like, you know what? It's bad luck to kill spiders. Plus we've been having some flies. Maybe he's just eating up all the flies. But then we literally went into the kitchen for like dishes or something, and Jack was like, Mac, look, and this spider was like hanging down on the ceiling. I was like, absolutely not. If I am going to like accidentally step into the spider. We gotta get him out of the house. Dingle was literally here, and she started to back up like this. And Jack goes, And where I'm Look. standing right now is where Ralph was. <laughs> he was doing the, like, Spider-Man thing. So this was Ralph just hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> like, right there. Like, yeah, literally. Got his, like, big old arms out like this. Yeah. He's like, that's a big one. He was, like, where Jack's hand was, and I was backing up. And he goes, Mac, look. And I was just like, oh and, my and god. And Mac whips around, and as soon as she turns around, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> also, guys, look at our cats this morning. I say cats because, yes, there's one, but then the other one is, yes, indeed, tucked under. There, because it's nice and warm. It is actually that cold in the house today. I think when Jack went to go for a run this morning, he went for a run with one of the people we saw last night and they went for like eight miles and it was like freezing temperatures. It was 39 when they got back, but they both met up around like 7.30 a.m. and got back around 9 a.m. and it was 39 degrees outside at the later time in the morning. That's just so crazy. But last night was so much fun. I'm just gonna sit down and talk to you guys. <sighs> last night was very, very fun. I am very tired this morning. Many beers were had, many delicious food actually. We went to, baby, what was that place we went to called? Riot? Uh, liquid riot. It's called the Liquid Riot in Portland, Maine, and it is so good. It was like a brewery slash distillery, so they had a lot of like bourbons or alcohols and stuff like that, or like rums and stuff. It was super good. But I had a flight there, and then of course we had a nightcapper, a nightcapper at the hotel that they were staying at. So that was really cool to hang out with them. Yeah, just grateful for like friendships. You know when you connect with people on like a deep level, no one has to talk about like the connection or anything like that but you just like hang out and their conversation is like flowing and it just feels so good it was so nice to see them again and i love seeing that family they had their kids there too and it was just like i love seeing that whole family so awesome but we went out there and then of course jack and i had a another late night mcdonald's run it's just whenever you go for some beers or drinks and then you're just hungry at night and you're just like mcdonald's sounds so freaking good i was gonna have this whole vlog be like getting back on track because i haven't meditated in a while i love to meditate and like practice gratitude and journal and all of that stuff and I just haven't done it in so long I also haven't worked out in forever so I worked out yesterday but it just doesn't feel like I got back on track so we're just trying to do that maybe I'll do that in another vlog where it's like you know we work out we meditate we do all that stuff but after last night with the McDonald's and the drinks and like all this stuff is just literally the opposite of getting back on track but one update I wanted to give you guys is this morning it's Monday and I got on the phone with my tax guy and it was super Super awesome. So long story short, if you guys are caught up from the last vlog when I went on about taxes and like how scary it was to find out that I should have been paying quarterly taxes and how I'm literally like evading the government apparently, like unknowingly, everything is fine. That's gonna be taken care of and then I'm just gonna go on a quarterly schedule. I would just urge you if you are getting paychecks and the taxes are not taken out already, not only should you save money, I've been saving the money that should be paid in taxes because I know at the end of the year I'll be paying all of the taxes that I should have had taken out of my paycheck, but they're just not taken out of my paychecks because I am not a W-2, like full-time employee with like benefits and things like that. Just know that not only should you be taking out money to pay for taxes, but you don't just pay annually, you pay on quarters. So that is a life lesson that we've learned the last few days, but everything is good, everything's fine. We're just learning as we go, just learning as we go. And the other thing I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about is when we were streaming the other day, obviously we have Sims pulled up and
and I saw that they were doing a sale until I think like the 20th of October. But of course, since there's a sale, we have to do a giveaway because I love giving back to you guys. You guys give me so much joy on a daily basis just by commenting and watching my videos. So here's how the giveaway is going to go. It is for PC or Mac only, so if you play on the computer, you are eligible. It's for The Sims 4 base game or any expansion pack of your choosing. And all you have to do is be subscribed to this YouTube channel. Comment down below that you have subscribed, something that you love about The Sims, like what is your most favorite thing about The Sims, and a way to contact you if you do win, whether that is an Instagram handle, a Twitter handle, an email, anything like that, so I can contact you if you do win. Because if you win and you don't reply within like a day or so, it'd be really sad because I would just move on to the next person. So make sure you're commenting somewhere that you will get the message if you do win. Yeah, that is it. Just make sure you're subscribed and follow those things and you could be entered. I'll choose someone in the next like few days just before the sale ends. And yeah, I can't wait to do this giveaway for you. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I need a nap so bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new to the channel and you're just seeing my face now or if you want to enter the Sims 4 giveaway, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because we upload videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everyone, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one, friends. I'll see you later. Bye!